was a Thursday, October 10th, 2019. Dance Monkey just hit the Hot 100. The world had yet to close its curtains in a valiant attempt to shake the coming pandemic. The future was bright. The future was new. I needed something powerful. Something small with the ability to cast my dreams into a reality. I needed the Nikon Z50. What's up guys? Today we're talking about the Nikon C50 and how it is my favorite camera on the market hands down right now. It might be small and it might not do everything, but it does anything just well enough. We're gonna start off with the design and then work our way into performance and so on. And I know you're probably wondering, uh, you know, what I used to record that little opening sequence that was all done on the Nikon Z50 and it was all done with the kit lens. 16 to 50, f3.5 to 6.3. This camera is light and when I say light I mean really really light and really really compact. In its longest dimension, which is wide, it's only five inches. That in um, non-freedom units is something around 120 something millimeters but that's small very very small for comparison the v800 which is another great nikon camera is about almost seven inches 6.5 ish inches across in this direction it's huge a whole an inch doesn't seem like a lot in a camera but it is the nikon z50 also weighs only 450 grams. That's about the weight of a can of Coke. You add on the kit lens, you're looking at around 600 grams. That is about the weight of a small loaf of bread. <laughs> this thing is impossibly light. It, 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 it doesn't even make sense. Even in my giant hands, it's fairly comfortable to hold. It's really sturdy. Nothing on it feels like plasticky or strange in any way it doesn't feel like it's going to fall apart in your hands plus it's weather resistant now i'm not saying that it's waterproof it's no you know super amazing water se weather sealed camera but it is splash and dust proof which is definitely a plus when it comes to doing anything outdoors whether it's portrait photography or you're going to be doing uh wildlife photography, anything like that. It's, it's gonna be super important. I will say when I got the Nikon Z50, there were no weather sealed lenses available, but now you have so many. You, can, you can't throw a rock without hitting one when you go onto websites like BNH or even Nikon's uh, you know, store. Camera, lenses, weather sealed, everywhere. Something else that is really but I guess was really important to me in the design when I first got it was that all of the buttons on the camera are snappy. None of them feel smooshed or squishy or anything like that. They all feel very tactile and have a really good detent. That's hands down super important. So many sloppy, nasty camera buttons are out here nowadays. Not calling anyone out. But on the same hand, some people might not like that, I guess. I personally really like a nice snappy button. All of the IO covers that cover up things like the HDMI port, the mic port, all of that are really, really nice. They don't feel like they're gonna disintegrate if you look at them too long and they aren't squishy. They're nice and firm and they snap into place. Poor little guy, Nikon Z50 is a beefy boy. You don't have to worry about your arms falling asleep when you're trying to hold it up shooting handheld video or if you're on a long portrait shoot or anything. It is perfect 
of running and gunning. Now for a few of the cons that I have when it comes to the build quality and design. The flip down screen. Yeah, it was cute Nikon, but it wasn't the smartest decision. No one really takes selfies with a big mirrorless camera. They, they do it with their cell phone. And I guess what it was kind of helpful for was vlogging, if you just want to hold your camera in one hand and vlog. But even so, it still would have been nice to have a flip out camera screen. And that problem persists through pretty much all of the Z line minus the Z30 and the brand new Z9. The record button for video on this camera is kind of small. Yes, it's very tactile, but it is very small. It's, it's easy to miss it, but they fixed that in the Z30. What I would love to see is an FX3 competitor come out of Nikon here shortly, a full frame cinema type camera, or at least blogging style camera, where you have your XLR inputs and a, a top handle that comes with it. We don't need an EVF or anything like that, just a, a something bigger and badder than the Z30. My wife has a Z30 and I love the little thing. The, the tally light, all of the stuff that's in the Z30 is wonderful. And when you look at it spec-wise, it is a Z50 with a different screen and a bigger button on the top. Moving on to performance. The Z50 is pretty impressive for its size, or at least in my opinion anyway. It has a 20.9 megapixel APS-C sensor, which for all intents and purposes is a 21 megapixel sensor. As per usual, the Nikon autofocus is super snappy. This thing might as well have aimbot as long as you aren't in pitch black conditions. I will say on the performance note, it only shooting 11 frames per second um, in raw high plus or high extended shooting is kind of meh when you have some cameras in just a little bit more high of a price range that are doing 20, 30, 40, 60 thing there. They're shooting video with stills. I feel like 11 could have been better. I feel like 11 could have been higher or could have been fixed with a firmware update if you were using the electronic shutter because I know the electronic shutter physically can do higher frame rates than that. But, and, who knows? It can at least do 24. <laughs> Speaking of 24, this camera shoots 24p 4K footage, which looking at its price point, you, you find that most cameras in its price point either do 24p and 30 or just 24p. This one does 24p and 30. It also has built in slow mo in uh, 1080p and a bunch of other video features that a lot of the other cameras in its class, its price point, don't have. Look at something like the Canon RP, for instance. It shoots five frames per second when it first still shots. That's its max. It has only 24p 4K with a crop. This has no crop. The Canon RP also has a really, really small buffer for still shots. You get about 10 to 12 before it cuts you off and says, well, okay, give me a second to think, and then you can start shooting again. The Nikon Z50, you do 11 frames per second, you get about 30, 18 to 30, depending on whether you're shooting in JPEG or if you're shooting in RAW. That's way better, that's almost double. Battery life is pretty good on the Nikon Z50 as well, because Nikon says you get about 320 shots per battery, and I find myself getting close to 1,000 shots of still photography per battery. I'm not going to complain about getting more battery life, but I would probably complain about getting less battery life. Z50 also has built-in Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, which I have used countless times to start uploading footage to computers that don't have an SD card slot. I've also uploaded still photography and started getting my edits done on maybe a lunch break or a break in shooting when I'm out on a really long shoot. It cuts down on my workflow, it cuts down on time that I'm spending doing anything else. Plus, you can use it as a remote shutter. So if you want to do something like a time lapse or anything like that, you can download the SnapBridge application from either your Play Store or your Apple Store and 
there you go you're done set it up walk away all good speaking of remote shutter you can take epic shots like this all using just your smartphone your z50 and a tripod can you ask for anything better than that i personally don't think i could especially not for the under one thousand dollar price point it, it's just there's no comparison while the nikon z50 doesn't have ibis or in body stabilization for those of us who don't like acronyms it does have electronic vibration resistance or stable shot when you are shooting in video mode it does have a little bit of a crop to do that but it is barely noticeable in the final result and in 4k you can't tell the difference between the cropped footage from the electronic vr and anything else it also doesn't have you know one of those crazy space swabble nonsense floating around looks like the whole background of your video is shaking thing going on which i find the most infuriating thing ever i'm not gonna name any names in the mirrorless camera under a thousand dollar club that has that particular problem but if you've watched enough of these kinds of videos then you know which ones i'm talking about also unlike every single other mirrorless camera out there you don't have to worry about buying a whole new set of glass or lenses for anyone who doesn't like weird terminologies <coughs> weird terminologies that are used in the photo and video world you can use all of your same nikon f glass or you know cheap nikon f mount glass that you find on ebay and facebook marketplace and so on with your nikon z50 and every single other z mount lens camera you don't have to do anything extra at all if you include both the f mount and the z mount lenses for nikon you have access to about 250 lenses last but definitely not least is going to be silent shooting oh, the electronic shutter has saved my behind so many times in so many places at so many events for the last thing anyone wants to hear is the valentine's day massacre while they're trying to say their vows or while they're trying to focus on some intense work of some kind it it just is better it just is the best being able to turn off the mechanical shutter and just shoot and shoot and shoot. Overall, the Nikon Z50 is an exceptional camera. It has all of the premium features in a very small form factor and performance at a consumer grade intro camera price that just isn't anywhere else in that market space. Regardless of if you are a beginner or a professional photographer, I think that the Nikon Z50 is worth taking a look at. I think it's worth trying to see if it's a camera for you. It's easy to just pick it up and go where you need to go and get the job done. It's reliable and it is extremely versatile. This thing has been the workhorse of my photography and videography business since 2019 and it has not missed a beat like the shutter counts at least 40,000 and it is still going strong not one hiccup no glitches nothing and i use it for a webcam i use it for this thing has probably been on more times than it's been off let's just go with that if you guys have any questions about the nikon z50 or any of the other gear that i use just drop me a comment I look at every single comment. I might not answer all the comments, but I do see all of them. Drop me a like, subscribe, hit the bell, and share this video with your bros. Because I am out of here. Peace.